right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Bone Apple Tea. Today we got to sit down and speak to Maximiliano Strocha. Is that right? Okay, cool. Maximilian uh, Law. Maximilian Law for English speakers. Um, he is the director of the Ferrara Film Festival, mm-hmm. correct there? Um, which has been going on, I believe, for eight years, and it's pretty big now. I mean, this place is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'll insert a little video maybe of just like the yeah. backdrop and stuff. A nice little shot. But we talked, we spoke about a whole bunch of things from the festival, how it started. Uh, he lives in LA now, kind of his LA life versus his Italian life. Um, we spoke about uh, his World Cinex that he's trying to start with a team that he's got going on here. It's basically or similar. Has started. To, has started. Yep. Uh, an award show similar similar to the Oscars, minus the politics and actually global, not just uh, uh, American centric. Basically, um, which honestly uh, is good to see because it is very American. I don't know what the word would be, but Americanized, right? Yeah. There's like one small category for international films. Yeah, which we actually, I mean, personally, I learned about that today that there was even just one for international films. I yeah, and I'm sure most people would be really confused by that as well, yeah. hearing that. So, yeah. uh, because everybody just seems to assume that it is, you know, the entire world that's involved. But yeah, um, yeah it was a great talk. to talk about a variety of things from those to, uh, I don't want to say politics, semi-politics uh, for we a bit We skated there. around it. We yeah, yeah. The edges of it, you know? Italian versus American culture, but it was a great, uh, great talk. So definitely give it a listen and uh, enjoy. See you. Let's talk all the way. I mean, I, I just want to let you know, it's great the way. I, I love doing this. It's uh, that you're using the festival to to do this. So it's it's fantastic. Thank yeah, it's our first, there's for, for our first road podcast. We've never actually like brought really? this stuff with us. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you like the settings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's it's awesome. It's I mean, it's one of those things too where like when we get here, mm-hmm. for us, we're so used to living in America. Yeah. And to come to Italy where everything's like, like first of all, relaxed. You know, <laughs> yeah. like everyone's like, you know, starting a half hour, hour late or like <laughs> strolling along. Dinners take two and a half hours, you know, like… With, with wine. With wine, yeah. yeah, yeah because exactly. in, in America, you know, if you have wine, you know, at lunch… Your lunch break is like, are you okay? You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go what's wrong something. with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so uh, how? So you were born in Italy? And yeah, actually, was born here. I mean, in this in, city, in Ferrara. Yeah. Wow. And so, how long? Like, I imagine you didn't just wake up. Oh, I'm the director of the Ferrara Film Festival. <laughs> so how do you how do you how do you get to the point where you're like, all right. Parada Film Festival. Oh yeah, it, well, it's uh, it's a long story. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to make it uh, very short. I mean, I've been living in LA for like 17 years, right? So we jump back to 20, um, 2013, 2014. So I I produced a short film uh, that was shortlisted at the Academy Awards, right? Mm. So um, uh, that was 2014, and then you know, that, of course, you know, I was like the town hero. So imagine, like, you know. I've, uh, the producer from Ferrara, you know, shortlisted the Oscars. So it was a big deal at the press. So, and then I came uh, here like a few months later, you know, still, you know, riding the wave. Mm. And uh, and then I, I met, you know, at the time, the, the, vice, the vice mayor was a friend of mine. Um, and this, uh, simultaneously, uh, in LA, I was organizing a, a it wasn't a festival, it was a, some, a it was kind of a um, retrospective event festival with UCLA okay. uh, and uh, the American Cinematheque. So it was called the Italian American Cinematheque, so, which actually was very successful. It's very cool hmm. because all the uh, these um, you know um, famous uh, American directors like Martin Scorsese, Quentin Tarantino. Uh, th- so the influence they had from Fellini, Sergio Leone. Uh, so we were basically we were doing like a double feature. Uh, an Italian movie that inspired an American movie from, you know, like… Oh, that's a cool uh, format. Yeah. 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 Very, that's a really cool format. Very cool format. So, like, for example, like, eight and, uh, Fellini's Eight and a Half uh, inspired, um, like, a Martin Scorsese movie or a, a… You know, this type of stuff. So, yeah. um, so the combination of these two elements… Uh, and then I was here, you know, talking about movies, you know, all day long with the press and stuff. So, and then, you know… Uh, looking around uh, the city, uh, I'm, I'm also a friend of the uh, um, Antonioni's family, right? Michael, Michelangelo Antonio, two times Academy Award director uh, from Ferrara. Mm, um, okay. So, and then I talking to the family, oh yeah, you know, uh, there's never been a film festival in Ferrara. We tried uh, for so long. And then a kind of a click happened in my, in my head. It's like, 
hold on a second. I mean, we, we live in a in an epic city. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's it's, yeah, it's gorgeous, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah I love it. Uh, I mean, it's great venues. I mean, we have this the Teatro Nuovo. You you saw it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's very yeah. nice. I was gonna say actually, it's like uh, yeah, yeah, perfect. Beautiful place, squares. Yeah. Um, so it's like, what if? I mean, I I, I think it's a great idea to uh, do a film festival here, like a. Right. International, like with a high, you know, ambitious, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, a few months later, uh, I wrote an email to the the then vice mayors, like, you know, I, I'm gonna, I, I would like to do a, a, to organize the Ferrara Film Festival. I mean, I had the experience. Um, I, I, the first edition, I, I'll I'll pay I'll pay for it. I'll, I'll find the sponsors, you know, uh, because here in Italy, you you find you, ninety nine percent of uh, everything movie related, like movies or events. Mm. Uh, most of the finances come from, you know, grants, uh, you know, the, the the Ministry of Culture. So it's a long process, but uh, okay. so living in America, you, you don't use that. You, so everything is private. So right. I, you, I was used to that type of, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, right. almost way like of, self-funding yeah, sort exactly. of mechanism. So is that where like the, you know, there's like a Renault preview and the, is that like some uh, something like that or is that like unrelated? I was actually going to ask you just… No, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, the, uh, the first edition we had Ford, you know, uh, speaking of American okay. companies. Oh, really? So, <laughs> um, awesome. so yeah, basically a long story short, you know, I, I want to do the festival. I think it's going to be great. Uh, I'll, I'll fund uh, the whole thing. I, I'm not asking the city any money. And they said, yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> hey, you want to pay for it yourself? Sure. <laughs> so, I mean, it was like a, almost as easy as that. So, of course, you know, um, in the beginning, you, know, you had to prove yourself. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, six months later, we, I put the, the money together. We did a pre the press, uh, you know, release. I mean, the kind of the press conference to present the whole thing. Uh, and then nine months later, the first edition, you know, uh, was happening. So, wow. yeah, like, in, in, in the within, like, a year and a half since, you know, the click uh, the, to the actual first edition. Then, you know, eight years later, uh, you Here know, we, we opened uh, this with Giancarlo Giannini, with, you know, Italian movie stars, with Jeremy Piven. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah you know, it was even crazy for me to be able to just, like, talk to Jeremy Piven the other night. You know, just I, to be I able know. to like approach him and just be like, hey man, what's up? You know, <laughs> yeah. like it's, it was nice, you know. It's, yeah. it's, it's really interesting, you know, because you you see these people on the screen so much growing up. And then to meet them in person is like, whoa, oh yeah, that's right. You're a person too. You know, you're not just a thing on my screen. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. You know? And we could do it more. I know the strike is happening, you know. It's yeah, tough. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, every festival is suffering. But, you know, we got lucky because, you know, we just… Went with the uh, with the ride, and we you know we were able to put together some great you know talent. You know, what I'm saying? So, so I was actually gonna I I want to get back to that, but I I do want to so ask uh, when you guys first started, was it immediate like you saw immediate success, or were the first few years, or when did you guys start to kind of catch on? Is it interesting because in the the first edition was quite epic because it was the you know a, you know a grand uh, you know thing and yeah. uh, just to give you a context with the opening party you know the, the castle you saw the castle mm -hmm. the, you know yeah. we had the opening party there so they oh, gave us no, the no, castle no, no. Um, and of course you know as everything happens you know the first times you know nothing is perfect so mm -hmm. you uh, and then uh, you know honestly the first three years you were the time that you had to prove that you're you know you're, you know it wasn't easy at all right mm -hmm. um but uh, the pandemic, the pandemic, uh, which you know, for many festivals were, I mean, was like a kind of a touch of devil. I mean, it's like yeah. you know, okay, it's like festival canceled. You know, yeah, everything. Right, you know, right. we were crazy enough that uh, we took the opposite approach. So we selected a, a time, a window, a, you know, time window where every you know was safe, like uh, to host event. Uh, where every other festival um, were canceling or doing the virtual. Ah, okay. Oh, so yeah. basically, you know, Chew, we man. just went, we went nice. like really <laughs> on a mission. Like we want to do it like in person, no matter, I mean, 2020, 2021. And uh, there were very little film festivals, you know, in person. So yeah, everybody imagine. wanted to come to, to us, you know. Ah, uh, right. So right. The, the new kind of uh, way of like getting bigger and more uh, prestigious was actually in 2020 because, I mean, we were probably among just the five film festivals that, uh, that year. They uh, actually, had, uh, so it actually worked in your person. advantage then. It ended up working in your advantage yeah. because of that. Yes. Which is crazy because I feel like there was like three years there 
then I'm even with the with the writer strike. At least coming up new, you know what I mean. Like you're you're like trying to establish yourself. So mm-hmm. you'd think that would kind of be it, right? Like that three years, because a lot of people kind of got done in during that time. Yeah, um, a lot of different businesses too. It's like yeah. you know, so you could imagine that, like you know, maybe you would think, uh oh, pandemic, we're a new festival, we might get crushed. Right, but instead, right. you kind of rose to the occasion and right. kind of like supercharged it in a way. Right. You know, you, you got to use, I mean, everything. I mean, we solve probably 10 problems every 15 minutes here. You got to use trouble or problem at your advantage. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, there's always a solution uh, to almost everything. So, uh, you got to be smarter than the other, than yeah. others so to kind of, you know, use… Uh, the right solution at the right time. And I mean, everything is possible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like people underestimate how much coordination goes into events. And, uh, you know, even on a small scale. So, like, I can't imagine now you're doing this year over year. And like like you said, like the first year you get out to kinks. You don't even even know what problems that you might have. And then after a few years, you're like, okay, well, we've seen this. We've seen that. But uh, with with the strike, I mean, I could see it. I don't know so much about this year's festival. But I would think more so next year because everybody's writing… Or yeah. not writing now, and you know it takes time to to make things right. So you would think this, all most of these were made probably before the strike happened. So yes, that's very true. So yeah, next year is gonna be a different uh, type of problem because uh, the content that hasn't been written and uh, uh, you know produced this year. So next year, I think is gonna be uh, the year of the independent movies because mm. all the uh, everything that is shut down now. Uh, but uh, A24, for example, you should issue like 13 yeah. films or… Yeah, yeah. Blumhouse uh, I think is doing a few too. Yeah, exactly. So, um, I mean, people are shooting, you know, a lot uh, anyway. So, I think next year, it's maybe the the, the, the rise of the indie, you know, the independent… I mean, not the, the, the like the mid-scale, you know, the the A24, the… Um, uh, what was the other, the other one? The neon, you know, Neon. Right, Neon. Um, yeah. So, those like a mid-level studios… They have good quality stuff. I mean, oh yeah, yeah really for good sure. stuff. We sure. great stuff. Yeah, so. it's not, it's not like it's like indie, but not like indie, not like in your mom's basement indie. It's indie, <laughs> like still million I mean, dollar budgets. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so I think you know, I mean, we're gonna we'll see, obviously, but uh, we'll embrace uh, that uh, if that happens, which most likely will happen. Yeah, uh, and you know and. Well, it'll be okay, I think. Yeah. So, are there any like uh, festivals you you see or that you've been to that you kind of try to model yours after, or that you use for examples? Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. For example, I, one specific, which I think it's uh, it's the most. I mean, every festival is fun in in, in a way, but you gotta select what what you're looking for, but and what you need uh, as mm-hmm. far as event. Uh, so I think it's South by Southwest okay. uh, in yeah. Austin, Texas. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's, um, it's a model that. Uh, can be applied quite well here in Ferrara, uh, specifically because it unites uh, music and and, uh, and, music. and movies. So, in case you know you don't know, and uh, the audience in America probably they they don't know. Uh, in um, since twenty twenty one, there is the Ferrara Summer Festival. You see also the, you know the 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 the, the um, kind of a banner over there. So it's as of today probably. The biggest music festival in Italy right now. So it's like mm. a two months long, a huge con- I mean, huge concert. Like I'm talking about Bruce Springsteen, uh, the Black Eyed Peas. Mm. We're actually here, really? so um, just chilling. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> chilling and playing. It's so far, I mean, right? it's you know a lot of people. So, so yeah. it's it's uh, um, the vision. It's for me uh, to kind of uh, create a summer of music and and film. Uh, so doing like the Ferrara Summer Festival. Uh, which is, I mean, it's not organized by me, so it's called, you know, right, r- right. But you're sort of piggybacking on it, right? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, ending the summer with the Ferrara Film Festival, mm. um, creating like this like huge summer of a uh, music and film, uh, you know, a global event like South by Southwest. So yeah. that's mm. kind of um, a role model to answer your question that I uh, can be applied also if because Austin was, you know, it's not like L.A. or New York. Yeah. It's, you know, of course, with the tech, you know, moving yeah. there. I, I think, you know, somehow, even though, you know, probably Ferrari is more beautiful than Austin, Texas, but uh, <laughs> yeah. visually, it is. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of a… Uh, Temperature-wise. It, yeah, it's… Uh, <laughs> it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just better. It's, <laughs> um, I think, uh, you know, could be applied in a similar way, you know, 
like a mid level, like a mid sized level city, not not a huge metropolis, mm. uh, like a vibrant, booming, uh, with lot lots of cool events. Um, I think you know I, I'm could be happening here too, like a, that type of a wave of like a great music film, yeah, lots yeah. of events. So I mean, yeah. the, the setting is there, and the, it's very. I mean, even the you know piazza is very mm-hmm. conducive to having people come in for this type of thing. Like this fits here perfectly, you know. Right, so, right, right. Uh, and yeah, again, like they, it's it's one of those things where like they do it in South by Southwest, and. Again, it's in Austin. So there's challenges with just with having it in Austin. It's crazy hot, you know, like <laughs> yeah. over 100 degrees. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know like, I mean, it's, we're in the tail end of summer here. So it's probably cooler than it was when maybe the music festival yeah. happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the fact that there's already a music festival going on, you know, so you already have people looking at this place uh, for arts, you know. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. Absolutely. So like um, you had mentioned, is that kind of what you were talking about? I mean, we were t- kind of talking privately the other night about like trying to make Ferrara like the new, like the Austin of uh, of Italy, <laughs> yeah. which I liked a lot because, you uh-huh. know, there is a lot of right now in the United States, people kind of moving out of LA and, you know, moving yeah. out of these areas into yeah. Austin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for, you know, you have big names like Joe Rogan or Elon yeah. Musk. They're mm-hmm. like hightailing out of there. Yes. Now, is there that level of influence that you think might want to congregate out of like Rome or any of these places to Absolutely. Somewhere? To give you a, a like a, a parallel view. So LA, New York, Rome, Milan. I mean, it's okay. that's exactly… Okay. So Milan is New York. Rome is LA. Okay. So it's… Those are very, very sad, saturated markets. Mm-hmm. I mean, whether he's here or, or there. Um, and I, uh, uh, we are seeing um, a very high interest in uh, investing in different areas, um, mainly because it's cheaper. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, you uh, notice the price difference when like you take it. We took a little trip down to Rome yeah. and we were like, eh, it's just as expensive as back home. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. you come over here, you get like, we just got breakfast. It was like four drinks, like desserts, all this crazy stuff, nine euros. I was like, Okay. Exactly. Sounds good to me. <laughs> yes. So that you know, I mean, uh, and uh, you know, yeah, it's it's less saturated and uh, but as beautiful as the other places. So I think it's it's a, a, a way to kind of uh, to use uh, to you know do that. And uh, I mean, maybe in ten years from now, uh, here. I mean, what, if you do that, obviously, like it has happened in Texas or it's in Florida. Right. Yeah. It, it, you, Time. Prices will catch up, right? And right. A, a year it'll become more expensive. So, but still, I mean, it's I think it's a process that uh, it's natural. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, obviously, we're taking that uh, that we're taking advantage of that now. Yeah. And um, hopefully, we'll, we'll we'll do well. Yeah. And, uh, and in the more years, expensive prices too for the people that work here right. mean higher wages for them. Yes. So it's yeah. like you know, it kind of. It evens out a little bit, you know. Totally, yeah, because you know you bring work, so yeah, yeah higher yeah. It, exactly like you said. So yeah. you you add uh, to the economy, so yeah, yeah. it's 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 a win win, you know, situation. I think. So I'm super curious about this world Cinex thing. Ah, <laughs> I got because like you know I had only sort of like seen little teases, yeah. and I think you guys have an Instagram page and website, and it's all very like almost ethereal, like it exists, but yeah. I don't. So what what is it? How did you think of it? And I guess what were the reasons behind even creating World Cinex? Oh, it's it's uh, again, it's a combination of events that you see that you experience. It's like ah, something is missing. You know, you know, societies evolve in a way that also you know, naming the Oscars, the Golden Globes, which are, I mean are great, uh, but I think they do not represent. Uh, what they're really meant to be. Let me give you an example. So the uh, the Oscars, which everybody think of the Oscars, uh, the uh, highest expression in the world to think about the best in movies, okay? Uh, which is great. I mean, but what in reality is, is that is a local, I mean, local meaning American. Yeah, it's true. I mean, mostly, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's mostly American. J- just to give you another example, um, that is not like a global. You know, it's not like a, what is the best in the world. Simply because there's only one category of it's called that's called inter- best international feature, which used to be uh, called uh, until a couple of years ago uh, best foreign feature. You know, so there's only one, 
with one category with only five films in it. So everything else is American movies. Oh, so wow. I actually didn't even think about it like that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. it's yeah. like a, I feel like it's like a marketing thing they do with everything. The World Series of Baseball, you know what I mean? It's just America. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. it's like great stuff. Yeah. sport sport analogy. Yeah. I, I haven't thought about it. Yeah. So it's like yeah, I mean, it's great and you know, a great show. Well, I, I, I well, I think people I, are getting what's, <laughs> like I won't I, I won't incriminate you too much with it, but like being like uh, I feel like the general public is starting to get more bored with it. Because yeah. like the like you have something like the VMAs, which is a music thing, and it's yeah. so huge, and you have performances yeah. and lights yeah. and sounds, yeah. and yeah. and then you get to the Oscars, and it's like, and the winner is, yeah, yeah, feels highly politicized. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The, you know let's I mean? not even so, go there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which we will we it's, will go there. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. You know, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's I don't think it's right to talk. Bad about other, you know. Right. However, right, you know, it's if you look, if you twist the angle, the, the view angle, it's like you know what can be done uh, that can represent your vision. You know, you know. It, now everything is global. I mean, everything is global. You can work from anywhere in the world. You know, not like before. So, and uh, with uh, you know Netflix, Amazon Prime, all these productions. I mean, all these other countries. They produce a lot of content. They, you know, uh, South Korea, China, uh, Japan, in, uh, Indonesia, which, I mean, not many people know Indonesian cinema is, is amazing. I mean, mm. if you like action movies, I mean, I uh, highly recommend to watch The Raid and The Raid 2, which I think, mm. uh, especially The Raid 2, is the best action movie ever Made. Really? You okay. haven't seen it? No. Bold no. claim. We'll have to check it out. Yeah. Sure, it's yeah. insane. And now it? all these actors, I mean, they are now get hired in all these, you know, Hollywood movies. You know, um, I think it, uh, the, the lead is Iwo e- 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 Kuwais. Anyway, he's not in the Expendables. It was in Star Wars. Uh, oh, wow. I mean, it's okay. it's like a way of making cinema that is, you know, let me put an example. So I watched The Raid 2 and then after uh, they, the day, I mean, the same night I watched uh, it came out in that time, uh, Captain America Civil War, which is a great action movie, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I watched first The Raid and then that, basically after watching Captain America, I was looking at uh, my grandmother fighting with my grandfather compared <laughs> really? to that movie. Okay. Wow. It's insane. That's, that's a bold yeah, claim. That's no, 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 check it's out. insane. <laughs> no, it's good. You look yeah. at that. I gotta watch it. It's you know? the, the Raid Raid and The Raid 2. Okay. Uh, Indonesian movie. I mean, if you like, if you like that genre, it's it's mind blowing. I don't know. I was gonna say I don't know if I've seen any Indonesian movies. I've watched a lot of Bollywood movies and and uh, right. uh, just honestly Egyptian movies and and Lebanese. My, my family's Lebanese, so I've seen a lot of like Arabic movies. It's very different. In yeah, Bollywood movies they are like crazy. They have a lot of, but it's like surreal. You know, it's like uh, I like it. It's like you know, you accept that that's what it is, and it's just. If you watch R R R, you know, oh, I, I was just about to bring yeah. that one up. Oh, I, I've God. only seen previews. Yeah, um, but I've heard that? I've heard it's very good. I need that movie is nuts. I mean, yeah. in a good way. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you can never do that movie in America. So that's that's the point. I mean, you have these you know wonderful movies that are very successful. Even another one, uh, Indian one. Uh, there were two big Indian ones uh, this year: RRR, and the other one is uh, uh, oh my god, I'm, I'm freezing on that. Pa- Pate, no Patel, no, it's not Patel. Uh, anyway, uh, it'll come back. So. Uh, Great movies. They have a theatrical run. They are very successful, but they're they're not. There's no um, there's there's no state. There's no arena to kind of bring all yeah. of that together under one roof and kind of you know have an, a, a global award for the, the real mm. not not politicized because I mean I'm not naming na- naming names, but I I mean what the hell is that you're Getting awarded and oh yeah, thank you, thank you, you know, for the award. Oh, by the way, you know, uh, and then you have you, you do your political. Yeah, opinion. yeah. I yeah. mean, speaking candidly I mean, on it, you know, it's not like you know any, just without emotion. And it's like, yeah, it is like not there. It's not the place for that type of thing. I mean, and then also, can, like, can we curse on this or? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, swear away, man. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I mean. <laughs> Whoa, dude! No, no, I'm just fucking. Yeah, just it's like wearing needle. Everybody yeah, curse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I know I what mean, you mean. It's like, I think it's, um, I think what happened is probably at one point in time, someone said a political statement that mattered because at the time there was probably a certain subset of people that needed a voice on a big stage. 
But I think now we're just getting to the point where people are like, I voted for this person. And it's like, and I think also just with the event in general, I don't know. I like I, I don't know how excited people are about the Oscars anymore because I don't know. It's just it's almost like the problems we just spoke about, and then it's been happening for so long, and I just think that people are just have accepted it. Like, oh yeah, the Oscars, that's it. Well, and they used There's to no, have- you know, like somebody needs to kind of do something else, and it's hard to change people's minds or get somebody to watch something else instead of you know the Oscars has been around forever, but yeah. it's like it's been established, and people are just like, well, it's there. It's fine. People I think don't it got contaminated ever. by… Okay. Here, here's the thing. I think… Uh, especially… Here, not so quite yet. Uh, hopefully not. But in America… I mean, my opinion, it's… The, it's Everything is like very toxic. The, you know, either you think one way or the other one. I mean, yeah. it wasn't… When I, I first moved to, to LA in two, 2005. Mm. I mean, it wasn't like that. I mean, it was… I mean, I, you know, it's… Why? What's this drama about? I mean, it's like… You either you think one way or, I mean, it's like, yeah. I mean, it's what's… It, it's think, like, yeah. to your point, it's like, if one person thinks this way, but they don't agree or line up with that way of thinking, yeah. then you have to like cut them out of your life and never talk to them ever again. Exactly. I mean, you know, it's like, whoa, like what happened to just having like a little disagreement and being like, yeah. ah, but you're still a cool guy. To me, that's you know? insane. I mean, yeah. it's it's really insane. And I think that uh, contaminated the, the, you know, this mm-hmm. prestigious awards… Because, you know, it, it contaminates you. And it, I think it's very, very wrong. and has nothing to do with movies. Do you remember uh, the, the uh, Ricky Gervais? I was uh, just the, thinking that, man. Oh, the Golden uh, Globes. Oh, yeah. That Dude. monologue. It's like one of my uh, you, favorite. You, sh- you should, I mean, everybody should want. I mean, I, I, I would love to find a way to put in loop uh, that monologue. It's like, um, are we good on time? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 We just have to Sorry. restart cameras. Okay. Yeah. yeah they, they, a cat they, knocked it over and now it beeps all the time. <laughs> yeah, now it beeps all the time. But don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, basically, the, the Ricky Gervais monologue. So, the Golden Globes uh, thing. That monologue, it's like golden. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, you accept a little war. I mean, I can remember. I can remember. I memorize that. So, and then, you know, st- th- thank your agent. Thank your, you know, whatever. And just, <laughs> yeah. and get, and, and get, and get the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's… True. I mean, it's it that's is, what yeah. it should be. Um, but anyway, so the world cynics is kind of a, a vision that culminates that sentiment. Uh, because, you know, people from America think different from people from in Indonesia, yeah. in China, in, in uh, Saudi Arabia, in Brazil. So there's no contamination because it's kind of a… Uh, Separate cultures. Yeah. Completely. I mean, there's no, no way of… Uh, getting this toxic environment that uh, it, it is, I think, you know, uh, America now. Um, yeah. yeah. So how, how does it work? Or what, I guess what are the differences of challenges of trying to coordinate something like that versus something like this? Obviously, the probably a lot more movies you guys are have to look through, right? Just because now that's… Uh, although you, you do an international here, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, not a, it's very different from a festival because it's… The here we do premieres, so… The, in that case, is basically the the formula is similar to the Oscar. So, uh, from you know January first to December thirty first, you know the whole. But instead of like focusing on theatrical, you know, American films, is like global. So there is a very specific parameters. If you go now to worldcinex uh, dot com, there is the manifesto. There is very specific rules to be eligible. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it's quite effective. So. Basically, um, it's the uh, same formula, but applied globally uh, and uh, uh, with no political influence, very clean. Uh, it's very objective uh, as, as far as, you know, being subjective. So, uh, because of that, that type of, you know, global approach. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what I noticed too, is like, even just like reading the website, it was like, it wasn't like there's like rules, but it's like the rules aren't like you have to make your movie using this and this. Otherwise, you can't be let in. You know what I mean? Like you have to have, you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, totally. Yeah, totally. yeah. So, and I felt, I felt like with uh, your festival, it was like, show us a good movie. It's got to have this and this, these specs. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, I, that's exactly what it is. It's a, a festival. I say it's a way to showcase uh, new movies and, you know, hopefully discovering uh, or celebrating. I mean, it, uh, this year we have the apotheosis of like uh, indie films and big studio films. We had Gran Turismo. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. We had, you know, even Sweetwater, the opening movie. 
they're European, European premiere, so that's kind of a mid-level. And uh, and then we have like indie films which are from Switzerland, mm. from you know from from uh, all these countries. There are so it, it conglomerates all of that. Um, you know, what cynics obviously is uh, more. It's a grander approach, but uh, you know, it's not a festival, so it's yeah. there's no you know competition. It's more work for us, but uh, yeah. it's totally different. Yeah. So what is the I guess time frame on it now? It's like, are you trying to do this next year or is this uh... the next year? Twenty twenty four is gonna. We're doing like a like a beta, uh, like a beta of, yeah. like a version, uh, and uh, our goal is by twenty twenty eight. It's to you know reach a level that of you know uh, forum members, the voting members. Okay, from, I was going to uh, ask about that as well. Yeah, uh, all across the world, obviously, okay. uh, specifically divided by continents, so it's you know balanced. I was, is it like a House of Representatives? Like the bigger the country, the more people uh, they have. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the combination like a by population. And the theatrical market, for example. So, I mean, population, is, it has to be like that because, for example, like a huge country like, uh, I don't know, like um, Egypt, for example. It's like a very, a lot of people, it's a smaller theatrical market. So, mm. it's kind of a combination of that. Okay. As opposed Smart. to like South Africa, for example, less population, but more theatrical, theatrical market. So, it's kind of a complicated formula. But yeah, that's kind okay. of… A, I see what you're saying though. It makes sense. It's yeah. all normalized to the area. So. Exactly. But it's okay. kind of balanced, yeah, with, with that. So. Mm. Cool. That's really um, cool, man. Yeah. It's like, it's it's so interesting. Like, because so you you spend so much time in LA, right? Yeah. Like you spent, is it like six months out of the year? Like how many… No, more, more. more. I, actually, well… Well, now I'm gonna try to spend more time here mm -hmm. because this thing is becoming uh, kind of a full time job. So right. it's actually it was honestly it was very difficult, especially this year, which we uh, got bigger. Mm. Uh, we, uh, I mean, I, I, I uh, it was very difficult to kind of uh, work all of this. I mean, thankfully we have a great team here, like a local team, mm. uh, but still coordinate uh, so much work remotely. You know, co coordinating with here. So it's it's uh, it's too much uh, work. Yeah. So I think you know I, I'm considering considering to kind of a bring kind of the the balance here. I mean right. not the epicenter here. So about we'll see. I mean uh, uh, it's gonna be a transition. That yeah. Is, yeah. Well, like uh, in this kind of like off topic of like film festivals, unless you had any more questions on that. Um. Before I move, I just I mean, more like personal stuff. Yeah, yeah, no. It was more like oh. a, just I want to talk like Italy versus US. Yeah, I was actually <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. I was yeah, like, are you attached to LA now, or uh, what was I mean, Are you like attached to LA now, or no? I mean, I've been to Orange County a lot. My sister lives there, but you know, LA is very different. I feel like it's like a very LA is. It's I mean, it's it's a, it's a magical place. Mm -hmm. um, it changed. Uh, mm. Mm, let, uh, let's put it this way: it, it's get is going through a. a transitional time mm. which it's not like it used to be uh, i think it, it'll it'll go uh, back to a grand uh, i mean the magic place that it was i think as no matter it, it lost a little a little bit of magic uh mm. for a variety of uh, elements which i mean it's we can talk for hours of that yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and um uh, it's still great but i i think it's the time where like you know smaller cities, small I mean less uh, saturated markets are uh, booming. Mm. Um, it's that type of you know, and maybe in, in ten years from now it'll, it'll be different. Uh, so that's kind of uh, what it, I think is happening right now. So a a LA, it I mean like I I here, I mean uh, people are you know getting out from Rome and Milan to go to because you can work. I mean you can mo many people work remotely. You know, you can just. Yeah. To, and you can travel so easily now. So um, I, I think it's, it's similar. Like USA and, and Italy are living a very similar moment. Um, but yeah, I mean, California is, is beautiful. I mean… So is California like the… Like have you been to anywhere else in the US besides California? Yeah, I mean, I, I traveled… Uh, I mean, not as, I, as much as I wanted to. Mm. Um, uh, I think… I mean, it's… Uh, uh, it's every… Place is great. I mean, it depend, depends what you're looking for. I mean, uh, I'm a city boy, so I, I want to have, a, 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 I mean, personally, a variety of uh, entertainment, you know, options. You know, if I want to eat like a Vietnamese food, 
obviously in LA, you, you can do that. Right. Uh, yeah. Maybe if you are, I don't know, in Albuquerque or I don't know, uh, in Iowa, you can't yeah. maybe. Yeah. It's way more um, options. Yeah. yeah. And um, it depends what you look for. I mean, I have so many friends. I mean, I have a, a family of friends of mine. They moved to Iowa and they, they're as happy as ever. Mm. Um, so it depends what you what you're looking for. I'm so I'm a city boy, so I mean, uh, I like boy. stuff to do. You know. Yeah. Have you been over to the East Coast much, like Boston or like any of like the New England area? I uh, I I've been to uh, Washington D.C., New York. Uh, I mean, great. I mean, I love it. New York is great. I I, yeah. I personally would never live there because uh, it's different it, than it, L.A. I mean, it's yeah. very different. Just, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like I like sun. Yeah, I like, you know, yeah, I like, building, I like, like people sun and, and not yeah. crippling winters. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, I hate cold. I mean, I, oh yeah, uh, yeah the, I hate cold weather. Northeast is not for you. That we, we we live in Connecticut, so yeah, no, you know, yeah. So, um, so yeah, the weather. I think it's it's a good element. That, you know, vitamin D, the sun will gets you in a better mood. I think. Yeah. yeah so that's yeah. my. I think California, Italy, uh, have people are in a. Better mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, uh, you know what we were missing when we were in Italy. Hmm. Magic mind. You know, that's a fair point, actually. Um, tons of espresso. Tons of espresso. <laughs> Lots of espresso. But uh, to be honest, though, like, yeah, like, it was kind of a miss. Like, as much espresso as we did drink, obviously, it's it was like… delicious. Again, it's like the same coffee situation we talked about last time. But uh, um, I don't want to, like, exaggerate, you know, how, what it does. You know, I'm not going to embellish like crazy. But, like, I will say, it definitely was a missed. Like, it was missed. Slight yeah. Edge, that it's like… When it's not there and I was just kind of like, uh, it would be nice if yeah, I Yeah, well, it's just, it's nice to sort of offset your jitters a little bit with, uh, you know, something that has like a lot of adaptogens in it to like help you actually get through that stress mm. and not just kind of be like just more caffeine. That's so, the thing. It is easy to rip through a ton of espresso over there. So, it oh my God. Nice and it's delicious too. So little... that doesn't help. It's like I'd be getting, all of a sudden I'm getting an affogato. So it's like, a, <laughs> yeah, you know, espresso yeah. and gelato at the same time. But if you're trying to be like us, you can get up to 56% off your first subscription in the next 10 days and 20% off a one time purchase with our code Apple20. So that's uh, go to magicmind.com slash Apple and then use code Apple20 at checkout. So you can get those same adaptogenic benefits that we were looking for when we were in Italy. What's your perception of uh, like Italian people versus American people? Because you're someone who gets to live in both places. Yes. So you must have some yes. you know, good feedback. Oh yeah. I have one very specific… Th- oh, so there's good and bad in both. Mm. Um, the only thing that bothers me… Um, uh, that at least in LA, maybe in other parts of America is different. Then in LA, you have to even hanging out with a friend. Uh, you need to plan that one week in advance. Yeah, okay? that's true. Ooh, that really is yeah. insane. Okay. Uh, yeah. he, people in Italy are more spontaneous. If you're free, if you you know, let's say, I mean, now it's like you know, uh, it's five uh, o'clock, five p.m. So, oh yeah, I know that I'm in in, in, in the next hour. I'll be free. So I'll call a few friends. Yeah, let's say, let's say, let's, let's get a drink, you know. And it's very spontaneous. So mm-hmm. here, it's it's normal that in, in LA, if if you call somebody, a friend of yours, you know, I mean, there's exceptions, obviously. But I'm talking. Oh I'm yeah, gen- I know what you mean. It's yeah. like you know, okay, let's say, let's do you have a you, time in a couple of hours. You know, it's it's like in a couple of hours. How dare you? <laughs> you I mean, it's not. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. Couple, no, yeah. I need a week in advance. Yeah. It's like okay, you're not the Pope. Yes, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are, I, I, I you are, uh, uh, yeah. I really do think it's like an Eastern versus Western thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, because, you know, I mean, like, I, I also like doing stuff like that to a fault. You know what I mean? Obviously, there's some planning that's necessary, but. You know, I like to say I run on Arab Standard Time because yep. every time, you know, we do something, <laughs> like, you know, whatever. It's like, AST, yeah, minutes, man. You know, whatever. But um, but that is something that… I, one other thing I feel like is kind of true of… Maybe it's like an Eastern versus Western thing too. But, uh, you know, like, people in America, maybe in California too, they'll like, oh, they hate America. Like, they'll talk so much shit about America. But then, yeah. you know, people hear like, okay, like, we talk shit about Lebanon, but like… We love it at the end of the day, you know what yeah. I mean? Like everybody leaves and then they come back and they spend money in their own country, their own country, like you know, or they'll send money over or start a business or something. At the end of the day, that's the goal is to like help where you came from. Yeah, so like you know, even you, like you went and you came and you started this film festival here in yeah. your hometown. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So uh, I, I don't know. It's like, but that I feel like doesn't really happen in America. Like, I don't know many too many people that are like, yeah, I want to make my hometown. You know. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of like America's self eating itself. 
thinking like, oh, we are the worst. We suck. Don't be nationalistic. And then like, you know, every, everyone, everyone hates us. Like that's like this, the inside perception is that like, oh, well, everyone in Europe hates America and they hate Americans. You know, it's, it's like, I think when you're so used to winning, to mm. be the best, it's like, you know, you're getting used to, it's like, a, it's, it's a feeling that year after year and decade after decade, I think it's kind of a consequence. I don't know. I'm trying to brainstorm because right. I do not know the answer. Right. And believe me, it's that. not like, hey, Max, tell us. Yeah. yeah but, I, <laughs> but I think, you know, Elon Musk once said something really cool that are specific about California. You know, California got used so much to be, to be winning that it's kind of, you know, eating, like you said, like eating itself. And, mm. and uh, it's like, you know, I, I'm the best. So you, you do not work for to become better and better. So you take it for, for granted. You're the best. Yep. So you, do, you, don't, you don't take any effort at all to kind of be even better. I mean, there's no, the only limit is the sky. So I think uh, what is happening in California kind of uh, is applying to the re- rest of America that is like, you know, yeah, we're, we're good. So it's, and then that kind of, then it's a consequence that people realizing, you know, year after year, the media, I mean, it's like, yeah. it, 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 I think it's that. So uh, yeah. there's no, no hunger yeah, to right. to become better. Uh, so right. that's, I think, what is happening. Yeah. It seems like, like the, I love like the culture difference here, like in terms of like, there seems to be a lot of like Italy pride. Yeah. And like everyone likes their family and their free time and they're taking time. And like, this is just for me, like noticing like just how people are around here is like, first of all, you guys have siesta. Okay. <laughs> Saying that you get a three-hour break in the middle of the day in America would blow people's minds. <laughs> you know, they're like, what? They just stop working for three hours? Like, that, that, that's time we could have yeah, been yeah, using. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so… The, yeah, th- like th- th- think, th- yeah, think things are a little mm, closer now, like as, po- as opposed to like maybe 20 years ago. Uh, but the main difference, I think, is that… Um, Energy. So uh, let me give you an example. For, Ferrara for many decades, you know, has been run by, you know, the old mines. Um, I mean, without any offenses. I mean, it's a, you got to, if you run a country, if you run a city, you got to have energy. I mean, uh, if you, and that can be applied for me. I mean, I think America has been run by old minds. They, yeah, look at Congress, you know what I mean? Yeah, Everybody's I mean, like it's, it's not, it's not, it's a, an objective opinion. Right? Yeah. You, 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 uh, you, if you're young, you have more energy to run stuff better. Mm. If you're old, because it's, it's chemical, it's, you know, it's physiological, mm. I mean, it's natural, you have less energy. So there's very few uh, people in power that are young, and energetic. So then the problem is that people on power, they're old. They don't want to, they don't want the young people because they want to hold the power. Yeah. So that, that is a global thing. So I, I think that the best way to uh, um, solve the problem that we were just mentioning, and that can be applied, I think, globally, you know, it's to have you know, young people running countries you know, right. yeah. and stuff, and, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, so. yeah, and I think it's like, you know, young is on a spectrum, right? It's just like young can mean not 87. <laughs> you know, like it doesn't, like it being young, like because you want someone with a little bit of wisdom. So it's like not the 20-year-old, yeah, but I also mean, not like, the 87-year-old. Like somewhere like maybe in that 45, 50 range, they got a little totally. hair on their chest. and uh, to- Totally, you know. totally. And again, it's a very delicate subject because, I mean, it, it, we don't want to, Kind of demonized, you know, uh, people are uh, over a certain age. Of course, age. of course. Um, but I mean, you have. Uh, no, I don't want to get too political. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try not to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, wisdom is is great, but yeah. uh, there is, I mean, uh, there is a, um, a a time where you have less energy. The thing about uh, uh, something like really mind blowing. Quentin Tarantino is now this, uh, decided that this year. He's gonna shoot his final oh, yeah. movie. I know that's insane. So it's, it's number ten, right? Number ten. He yeah, said he was gonna do ten. Uh, he likes that number. Yeah, it's it's yeah. this year. It's called the movie critic. Uh, this, you know, he said, yeah, 
I'm going to do this because I want to end my career when I'm in my, in my prime. Mm. So that's the kind of, I mean, for, it, it could go longer for 10, 10, 10, maybe 15 years. I mean, think of Ridley Scott. I mean, Ridley Scott is like 80 something. Uh, yeah. Uh, and he's like, uh, you know, shooting a movie after the other one. So, yeah. uh, but in general, I think it's uh, the energy. Uh, it's very important to, uh, to do things right. And, yeah. you know, True. When you're younger, it's… Well, that takes a lot of self-awareness. And like, I mean, I don't know. There's a diminishing return on like wisdom. You know, at a certain point, you don't really change your mind on anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. After yeah. you lived long enough, you know, it's hard. So people get recycled every hundred years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's natural. I mean, it's not offensive. I think it's 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 okay to, to say that, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. I do… I think like in speaking, just kind of rounding it out. I think the one thing that if I could just immediately inject America with… Is a sort of like, like from Italy mm-hmm. would be like a sense of just like ease. There's some yeah. sort of like the way people walk around here, yeah. Where you know, um, and like the caring about family thing, yeah. I think we've sort of lost that a little bit in the U.S. Where everything's sort of like me, me, me. I'm trying to get this bag. I'm trying to get this money. I don't need to have a family right now. I can have a family when I'm 45. You know, like there's kind of like this weird mentality in the U.S. that I think doesn't seem to be as apparent here where it's like, you know, people are just like out on the street, like hanging with their dog and talking to random strangers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you, got to work. So you got to, if you were, I mean, if if you're going to have a successful country or a city, you got to work. I mean, Right, of course. I mean, it's the approach. I mean, it's like, uh, you got to have, you know, no anger, no, not toxic environments, uh, no uh, prejudgment, is, or be open. So it's not that difficult to, yeah. to be successful, but, you know, without creating like this like uh, level whole, of anger. Yeah, you're not the Pope. Exactly. You know, I mean, like, it's like just you're not, not that. Pope. Just not having <laughs> that mentality. I mean, people that live in LA know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, so I, it's, I don't know. It's, but it's, uh, I, I think, to culminate, um, uh, because I think we're almost uh, done, Yeah, right? we're just about out of time. Yeah, yeah so yeah. basically, uh, just take it easy uh, and uh, just be more spontaneous. Uh, and uh, I mean, everything is going to be okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Uh, any last words about Farrar Film Festival, World Cinex, any ad, ads that you want to plug, yeah. Instagram no, handles, so whatever you want to do? Uh, definitely, I mean, the Farrar Film Festival, uh, it's now becoming, you know, uh, uh, kind of a major player in Italy and Europe. So feel free to uh, follow us, you know, you know, at, at Ferrara Film Festival uh, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, if you're curious to, you know, to see what the future of a word uh, moving, I mean, a word in movies uh, from a, in a global level, worldcynics.com, you, uh, you know, you can apply to become a member. It's free. Uh, so it's, it's about movies. We celebrate cinema uh, and no other things through cinema. So that's kind of a, we don't want to contaminate. Cinema is really, it's, it's very grand. There's ev- everything in cinema. So there's no need to put in other things that will contaminate. So I think this festival and, and World Cynics is the combination of to make a, a very nice, clean, uh, serene environment uh, that welcome everyone uh, with that judgment. So just get along with us. You'll have fun. Sweet. <laughs> Love well, it. Thanks so much, Max. It was thank, great thank talking you. with yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for listening to Bone Apple Tea. If you like the show, please give us a follow, like, comment, subscribe, whatever it is. Tell your friends about it. And uh, oh, yeah, make sure to follow us on Instagram. That's Bone Apple Tea. V B O N E A P P L E T E A. On Instagram. Thanks so much.